Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 4 of Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is Discovery, and yes, we are here, we're back for a new episode of Dawson's Creek. And yeah, I mean, I've been liking the, the, the show as... as it, it, it has been like very slow pace, but you know, I appreciate the fact that they spend a lot of time with the characters, but things seem to, like, kind of, like, they're, they're going for the dramatic now, because, um, Pacey, my child, I must say, um, he's still with the whole thing with the teacher, which I don't appreciate, and I, I, honestly, I hope that she goes to jail, but the thing is that, um, Dawson was planning this amazing kiss with Jen, with Jen, and it didn't happen. But he left the camera on, and he has apparently record a pornographic video, <laughs> or at least you know them hooking up. And what will that? I, I'm gonna guess that tape is gonna cause trouble. I bet so. We have that. We have Joey uh, kind of like uh, into this guy who's a very wealthy guy. Um, but I, lo I, I love Joey. I love how, you know, sometimes cynical she is and like, you know, and calls Dawson on his BS. I, I kind of, I, I really like Joey a lot. Joey and Pacey. Jen, I mean, we have seen some of Jen, but through... Dawson, so I really would like to just see her, you know, maybe through her relationship and friendship with Joey or with Pacey and like see a different side of her. I would really love that. Uh, so yeah, I'm here. I'm ready for episode four of season one of this incredible show. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. I hope you guys, you know, like it and, and support it both on YouTube and on Patreon. So if you're on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link, as always, will be in the description down below. And yeah, and if you're on Patreon, like I said, give it a heart and continue supporting for more. And for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 4 of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. <laughs> Did he, did he make a fan video Perfect. of her? Perfect. I mean, I grant you that the girl has certain physical attributes. But yeah. Nothing so original or mysterious to warrant perfection. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the face like that leaves nothing to the imagination. Not really. It's just so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> well, Nostradamus, I think I prefer to let Jen surprise me. Okay. Oh so my god! Just it's just that it, it's it's it it's both of them putting these expectations on Jen. You know, he's like, she's perfection, and she's like, nah, she's just an ordinary girl. You know, and like, it really isn't up to them to decide who Jen is, right? Brushed her hair out of her eyes a little. Oh no! Maybe set her behind a big school desk. <laughs> oh shit! She almost Miss Jacobs. Oh my god! <laughs> but they, they can't see who she's with. I mean, with that resolution, I, I'm i amazed that they actually caught that it was her. Um, you can't tell who that guy is or anything, can you? Standard over the shoulder shot. We can't see the guy's face. Shit. <sighs> Screw it. <laughs> the Grammy's <is> like... <gasps> Do you do these things to upset me, Jennifer? No, only she hardly oh, thinks only a kiss. of you. To you, Jennifer, I do it so you won't stray down the same path twice. Why? You know, Kissing a boy? Did she kiss a girl? Just destroy the tape. Did I did I look all right? <laughs> Performance-wise, did I cut it, man? Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, you did fine, man. Tell anybody. Yeah, yeah sure, right. sure, sure. That's like mind blowing, right? Jennifer, you exasperate me. Everything I say isn't meant as criticism. Uh, no, I know, I know. Some of it's meant as judgment. True. True. <laughs> Hi. Well, this is a surprise. Well, yeah, I saw he you works sitting, right yeah, there. I just thought I'd come on over. Don't do that. You guys are in public. 
You do have to understand that that is not okay. She could go to prison. Get fired. Oh, Dawson, look, there's your mom. <gasps> oh my god, and that's not your dad. Oh no, his world is crashing down. Oh my man. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> the poor thing, though, you know? <laughs> I feel bad for him. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Holy fuck. Poor Dawson. I need to talk to you. Oh, shit. So really she offer... So she offer to listen to you and you're like, yeah, I really do need to talk to someone who understands this. Bye, Jen. <laughs> sure, I didn't know. Did you? It's not her fault, okay? She's not the one who should have told you. At a loss for words, don't worry. Your actions are far more articulate. You are so, like, Bye. everything is about... See you later. Have a nice life. Oh my god, how dramatic are you? Let's remember he's like 15, but like, dude. Take a chill pill. Like, it wasn't her place to say it. Well, she's the friend, so she should have said it. But knowing how, like, knowing how annoying Dawson is about this type of things, she's like, do I really want to get in this? So, I don't know. I just think that... It's not, I mean, he's projecting his anger on, to, on her when she's not really the one to blame, in my opinion. Tell me Honestly, she's so annoying. What Maybe that's the only design? cafe in town, but oh, like, he works right there, there and she knows. Come on, don't you ever wonder why two months ago, I mean, why I suddenly come to live up here? No, he doesn't you think that because... because... your grandfather's sick and your grandmother needed your help. Yeah, and he... Look... This is like what I'm realizing about Dawson. Look, Dawson is not going to think about what other people need, you know, unless that affects him. You know, so no. Well, I think what you have been up to up until this point right now, you are here to just be the perfect girl that I like. Like, why will I think you had a life before this? Like... <laughs> yeah, I'll call you. Yeah. Definitely. Look He's pushing away. Jen, I've really got to go, okay? But I'll talk to you later. You're an ass. You're yeah. an ass. Later. Is he just, he's just so caught up in this idea of perfection. Not unless you think I bear some resemblance to Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mr. Gold is gay? <laughs> it's not to be repeated. <laughs> I fucking love Paisley's Mr. Gold is gay? <laughs> You know, I'm sort of busy here. These receipts and locking up. Maybe we could uh, do this another time. I told him I wasn't a virgin. I think I have a minute. <laughs> it's just that he seemed disappointed in me, which of course made me angry. And he has no reason I, to I be disappointed. And when it comes to women, there are popes who've had more experience. <laughs> I mean, the guy was a shrimp until last summer. To say his sex life is limited is the understatement of the decade. <laughs> it's barren. I love Joey. It. I love her. I love you have to her. Deal with, believe me. This isn't just about yesterday, Joey. It's last week, last month. It, everything between us recently. We just we're not getting along the same way we used to. Yeah, because so you're extremely you, annoying. You don't think we're friends anymore? I don't know. Are we more? Are we less? I all I know is it's just not the way it used to be. Well, things change. People she grow. Is She's just so. Madly in love with this guy. Talk about it. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode four of Dawson's Creek. And <laughs> it was a good episode. It was a good episode. A lot of things happen. But, you know, I want to understand Dawson. I really want to understand Dawson. You know. But I'm going to assume that uh, since this show was... When did this show premiere? 2002? Is it that right? Or is that when it finished? Dawson's Creek list of episodes. When was the first... Like, when did episode 4 premiere? 1998. Okay, so. 
we still have made some uh, progress, I'm gonna guess. I guess. Between 1998, 2021. So, my view of the things that are happening are completely different because of how long it has passed since the time this was made to today, you know? Um, some, like, the story is still relevant, the story is still, you know, something that it feels at time timeless in a, in a way, you know, because it's a love story, it's teenagers. Teenagers now deal with certain things that teenagers back then didn't and, like, vice versa. Um, but I don't like that, um, and this, how it used to be, is that you know, the expectation of being a virgin or something, or, or, or like the fact that she withheld that information is so important because, you know, they will see you as a slut. And like, I guess in some degrees, this, that is still happens till this day, you know, uh, but I want to believe it happens in a less important thing, you know, like it, it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. I don't know. First times and all of that is always important because, you know, teenagers, the, the world will be teenagers and like the teenagers, teenage experience is there and like, you know, first times will happen throughout the, those years, you know, for most uh, people. But the thing is that Jennifer really didn't own him an explanation, you know? Um, and I think that, you know, f the time before that, when they were, you know, yes, granted, she shouldn't have said that she was a virgin when she wasn't, but, you know, just, it gets to tell you this, the, the, the pressure of society that convinced you that being a virgin is this perfection quality and that you have to have it because if you don't, then you are a slut, you know? So... For her to say that she uh, was, it just comes to tell you that it's the pressure that is putting on her. Because if there was no pressure, or if she was not sent to this place uh, uh, because of that, then she will be honest and she will be like, yeah, I hooked up to, with guys before, you know. But the thing is, the major problem of, of, of Dawson's entire world turning upside down it's really because of the expectations that he has put on on jennifer on his parents marriage and like granted that one i can i can understand him but in regards of like her actually hooking up with other guys i don't even believe it that is as pacey say oh she's giving you a way in she's not really giving him a way in she's just being honest about something that she was not honest before and that she thought, hey, this is a good guy that I can share this with and I'm not going to be judged by it. Turns out that was not a really good choice because Dawson is really self-involved. You know, he's very, yes, like Joy said, the, the only child and like the world spins again, you know, around him. Everything has to be about him. Whatever mistake other people make is like, what? why are they doing this to me? Even if it has nothing to do with him. It will always be, why do they have to do this to me? You know, he's very self-centered, a bit narcissistic, if you ask me. Um, and so this time, you know, he is like with Jen and he has this romanticized idea of like, she's a virgin, I'm a virgin, and like, it's going to be great, it's gonna be like picture, like movie perfect type of a scenario. And I really will like if we could have more of these moments where it's like, snap, you know, we snap it to reality for Dawson is like, life is not black and white, you know? Th things are not just as they seem in the movies. Uh, I, and I I kind of, I, I want to give him some slack. I want to cut him some slack. Because he is, at the end of the day, 15. Teens are dramatic as hell. I mean, he is, like, in a whole nother level. But still, you know? Um, the fact that he is disappointed about what Jen just shared with him has everything to do with him. 
because he's the one who put her on this pedestal that now is coming down and crushing down because she's not a character in any of the movies that he has imagined. She's a real person who makes mistakes and who uh, uh, has a life and had a life before him, you know? So he is very immature. He is being immature. In a way, I guess we can give it to him in, in like, okay, he is so young and just experiencing life and, you know, okay, let's cut him some slack. Um, he will mature. When will he do that? We will see. Because everyone else around him seem a little bit more mature, especially Jen uh, is so much mature than he is. Uh, but yet, you know, it's all about him. Well, at the end of the day, this show is called Dawson's Creek, so... You're gonna have to put through the fact that we have to uh, uh, um, just sit and watch what he goes through, you know. Um, I love Joey. Joey is like Joey and Pacey are, and Jen now, are becoming like my favorite characters on the show. And it's so weird because, like I said, the show is titled Dawson's Creek. And Dawson is the one that I find the less likable out of the four. Like, I love Joey and Pacey immediately. Jen is growing on me, which is amazing, you know, because that w that's what happens when you get to watch the show and, like, the more episodes you watch, the more things you see from the characters and how, how, how many more aspects there are to the characters and you continue to fall in love with them. Or sometimes you even hate some other characters and blah, blah, blah. And, like, that is a good thing. Not such a good thing for Dawson, though, because the more I get to know him, the more annoyed I am by him, you know. Though, let's give him some credit and, like like I said, cut him some slack. Because on this episode, at the same time that he is um, finding out that Jennifer lied uh, due to, I am going to guess, to, to what society tells her that is wrong, what she did, and, like, hanging out with boys and, like, you know, having sex is not a... I wish that she, they could have confirmed that she was bisexual or something because she gives me such a vibe. But uh, she was like, you know, that, like, while that is happening, what was I trying to say? Every time I say something gay, then my mind goes to that and then I forget what I was trying to say. Um, where was I going with that? I completely forgot. <laughs> I love this. Anyway, so. While well, that is happening with Jen. Oh, yeah. Dawson is going through something extremely difficult, which is that he finds out that his mom is cheating with Bob. Now, for all this time, I was like, okay, she might be cheating, but she does look happy with the with her husband. So could it be that Bob is manipulating her into this relationship? Because if you don't do it, then I'm going to cut you off the air. Like, is there some inappropriate things happening at the work at the place of where she works? Oh, my camera's about to turn off. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, my camera's about to turn off, I think. There's something there. Anyways, I turned off my AC. Hopefully it, that helps. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, is there some misconduct from Bob? Is is there? A, did he do something um, um, that is not appropriate? Because maybe that's where it goes, you know? Although she really didn't didn't seem that forced when she was picking up a, a jacket for him. But when he kissed her at the station, it did seem a bit forced. So maybe there's more to the story there. But, I mean, I feel bad for Dawson that he has to deal with this. Was he right by going to his dad and tell him, hey, you know what, mom is cheating? Yes, of course, because... That's his dad, and, like, the dad seems like he's the oblivious one, so, of course. Um, but I feel like for... He also should have talked to uh, his mom and, and confront her and said, You know, mom, what the hell is happening? How, how, why are you doing this to dad? You know, and he's put in such a horrible position. For that, I can't allow him to be as dramatic as he is, because his entire world is, 
is crashing down. You know, he has for the longest time believed that his parents love each other and like, you know, they are madly in love with each other. And for 20 years that has been in and like for him to realize that, look, my mom is living with someone else is has to feel awful at the end of the day for him. You know, it's this is their his parents marriage that he seems to have seen or who, that is about to be destroyed, you know. So for that, I'm giving him some slack, you know, to Dawson, um, because I do feel bad for him that he's put in this situ in this situation. Um, anyways, then we have um, well, Jen talking. I really hated when she talked to his to her grandpa and saying, you know, it it, it wouldn't matter in like a few years, and like even if it. Like, it shouldn't matter today, even, like, how young she is. It shouldn't matter if it's her body and whatever she feels right that she should do with her body, then she should be able to, you know, without being judged, you know? And 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 it's terrible that they're putting that pressure on her and that she feels guilty because of the choices that she made and like come on sometimes we all make mistakes I don't think she feels that they are mistakes you know it's just that society makes them mistakes and she doesn't feel comfortable with that and I feel bad you know I feel bad that she thinks of herself in that way because of you know how her parents have acted by sending her here and all of that you know and a constant reminder by the grandma that don't make that mistake again. Don't make that mistake again. When in reality, it wasn't a mistake to begin with. You know, it was her decision to have sex and to have sex with as many people that she wanted. As long as she's safe and protected and is consented, then so be it, you know? So, but I feel bad that she thinks uh, uh, that way about herself. I did like the conversation between Jen and and Joey, I think that they could and they will hopefully become like really good friends. Am I shipping them? I a tiny a bit because I get such a vibe from Jen, like a bi vibe. But like, you know, I don't, I really don't think that that's going to happen on this show. But anyways, then we have Pacey, adorable Pacey, who was like extremely jealous at what was happening with Mrs. Jacobs, Tamara and the other guy and when he finds out that he's gay it's like it was the best reaction ever you know he was like mr gold is gay <laughs> it was the best reaction in the planet i loved it uh and like yes it, it gives him some security because at the same time he is a young boy and like he was feeling threatened you know and, and scared that tomorrow will choose him over you know over him so it's 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 understandable why he was he was that way, um, but it made me feel terrible. You know, it just makes me feel terrible because it's such a not healthy relationship, and this is his first relationship. You know, and it's just bad. It's toxic. It's wrong. There's a reason why they have to hide. You know, and I, I hate that. I hate that. Uh, I also did. I did like though that he talked to Dawson about it. You know, I really hope that Dawson doesn't like just screw him over and says, oh, yeah, well, you'll be having sex with our teacher or something like that and out him. I really hope he doesn't do that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I like that they talked. They they had a really, you know, bonding thing that we saw at the beginning of, of the season, like on episode one, and then we haven't really seen them talk that much, you know. So I really like some scenes, more scenes between them, you know. Um, and, yeah. I also love how polar opposites Joey and Pacey are. It's just incredible. Um, and, like, the fact that Joey seems still madly in love with him, with Dawson, is like, oh, my God, girl, you can do so much better. <laughs> really. Uh, but anyways, I I love I love this episode. I think it was great. I, I, I think that um, even when... <laughs> Dawson, like, his face of, like, the world has come down, like, it has, like being destroyed in front of my eyes and he was with that face it was hilarious you know his sad face i'm so sorry i shouldn't laugh but i laughed at that it was just hilarious um 
But yeah, yeah, really good, really good episode. I really hope that that whole Tamara thing doesn't blow up in Pacey's face and he doesn't get in trouble or anything like that because I feel I, I, w I wouldn't like that. I really, really like Pacey, so I want what's best for him, you know. Uh, anyways. <sighs> That's it. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link, like I said, will be in the description down below. And if you're watching on Patreon, give it a heart, continue supporting, because I will be posting more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek coming up soon and for now that's about it thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for dawson's creek that's it bye guys <laughs>